So I'm out here ripping the boat apart again, playing with some accessories, and uh, I had a few questions about the Mega Live install since that last video. Um, and if you guys want, I'd appreciate it to hit the like and follow button, and uh, I'll make some more videos. But the question that I'm getting a lot right now is with the Mega Live, whether they should put a power switch or not for this. And to help answer that question. Um, at a bare minimum, you, you should have, between the battery, um, you should put a flip, a master switch or something back there and, and a fuse. I, I personally use a, uh, the fuse box method, um, but go with whatever you want. However, up at the bow, I actually do install isolation switches. This one's for the Mega Live and this one's for the Mega 360. And... The reason why I do that is if I'm out on the water and I have an issue, um, let's say for the 360, for example, I deploy the trolling motor and it says prepare and pod and it gets stuck there. The easiest thing for me to do is to just flip this switch, wait a couple of seconds, flip it back on, let the uh, Solix or, or the Helix reset the 360, and nine times out of ten, that's that fixes it. Um, now the Mega Live, since it's a network component, um, just like any other component on the network, uh, you know, it might have a hiccup, you might have an issue. So for the same thing, I'm out on the water, I can just quick shut it down, wait about 30 seconds, turn it back on, and press on. And most of the time, um, that's going to be the easiest, most convenient way to do that. If I have everything wired to a master switch in the back, and that's my only source, and I see a lot of people doing that install, and there are perks and benefits to doing that. But the problem is, if they have to reset, let's say, the Mega 360 or the Mega Live, their options are limited. Um, they can maybe try to gain access uh, to the, the power connector up there, the quick disconnect. But with everybody using these uh, jackets, it's not necessarily something that's easily accessible. Um, and so the other option is to shut everything down. Kill the reset the master switch to it, uh, turn it back on, and and hopefully that fixes your issue. So this, like I said, these these switches it also makes the install a little bit easier. Um, so I highly recommend uh, if you're doing an install for Mega Life or Mega 360 or both, or if you already have it on, uh, maybe consider adding um, just individual isolated power switches. I hope that helps. Thanks.